now to the University of Tennessee. 10 News reporter Olivia Daig spoke to a longtime Lady Vols sports writer. And as we know, Olivia, big expectations come with this job. John Robin, you can't walk anywhere on the University of Tennessee's campus without seeing the legacy of Pat Summit and her legendary Lady Vol teams. So she's got, so after firing Kelly Harper today, there are huge shoes to fill for this nationally recognized program. Harper's been with the Lady Vols for five seasons. 24 seven sports reporter Maria Cornelius argues this might be the most sought after job in college women's basketball. She says right now there's no obvious candidate, but that most athletic directors have a list regardless of whether they're considering changing leadership. She says coaches across the country are going to want this job. There's going to be dozens upon dozens upon dozens of candidates. This is a coveted job. Second part of that, how much is Tennessee willing to spend? An elite coach, that's two to three million right now. So that, that it can also boil down to money. Now that reporter mentioned a couple of names that Tennessee women's hoops might try and snag for this job. Again, she says this decision will be will be needed needs to be made quickly within a week coming up at six. We'll talk about who those names might be, who those candidates could be coming up. John Robinson.